Corporal, uh, what can I get for you? Hold on, I got this. Corporal St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor at Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor. Bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug track. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Uh, an M7? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was daylight, <laughs> the weather was clear, and see a single freak. Uh, but there is this... <laughs> This group of uh, uh, men ended up at the ski lodge. Somewhere in these oh, trucks! a ski lodge out here? Down. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> uh. Shot him! <sighs> okay, what were you saying? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there is this, this group of uh, uh, men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. <laughs> Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta run. They're they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Stupid kids can have so Raiders. Damn it, I should have been watching for them. It's St. John and Captain Corey. St. John and Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. <clears throat> yeast? Hold a second. <sighs> we have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Use this. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you. Before this shit, we were numb. But we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds, keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath, and hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from you again. <laughs> This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, I hope I'm feeling the pain. Who fucking is it? Well, fucking Jesse Carlos Williams. Rest in peace. Green lights are all good. 
Here we go. <sighs> Nero injector, just what the doctor ordered. Mm. Yeah, that's the stuff. Recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened to you. Later, burn out these nests. A marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Another infestation zone.
Okay, militia bike. That's gotta be hers. <laughs> Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, it seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders, Corporal. Garrett out. Yes, sir. Fucking A. I'm running. Okay, hang on. I'm coming. Okay, hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. Sean. Thank God I've given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. You yeah, okay? All right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go. I'll just take these. Yeah. <sighs> 
get finished burning up this nasty zone. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh... Wow. Oh, Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Corporal. Let's have a patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so, uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out. Sons and bitches. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took down an entire drifter camp single-handedly. Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. What do you think now, huh? Somebody shoots back. How do you like that? Come on out! Oh, I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Here's the hatch. Yeah, knew you had one. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that... We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds or rippers or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive. 
the strongest take, and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's something Cope Law and Order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. Beacon. Oh, another one of those hey, micro. You want to do tomorrow? Yeah, we got to check the roster. You? Yeah. CEO has been on four days straight. You know if they can do that? Did he do it? Yeah. Well, then I guess they can. You got a lot to do, and not a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. <laughs> Shit, huh? Yeah, Come on. Writing was pretty hard. Not hard enough. What, well, not enough free time to play checkers in your heated bunkers? Oh, that champagne problem. Is it? God damn it. It's gotta be close. Visit. Visitor center. That's gotta be it. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it?
That's the last of them. Okay, now where the hell is the yeast? Got it. this.
St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item as your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Open up. Don't got all day. Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. When my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Oh, St. John, good. I need you to step okay, by the infirmary. Okay, then. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Cheap and buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk 
every day at dusk, at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Sentence. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So... Who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. Hmm. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, güeros, chinos, bloods, crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Today's dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained, and we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, right. thieves, yeah, yeah. rapists, yeah. murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind from this life or the one before. Yeah. How you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us 
is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, yeah. and yeah. discipline. Yeah. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed.